So ma'am, the concept is very simple. You would have obviously taken a air flight. You would have seen these air traffic control towers. What do those towers do? They continuously monitor the various aircrafts which are coming, and then they guide these aircrafts into specific paths where you have to go, go up or down, take left or right. Similar concept exists for space. Now, why is it become important for space now? Is because the number of satellites launched in the last few years. and planned in the next few years is very very high so suddenly you have a situation where you will have a lot of flying objects or satellites in space one and two you've historically had the issue of a lot of space junk so similar to air traffic control india now needs to graduate to space traffic control which is to manage and monitor what is happening with your space assets abroad and india has to set up a space traffic management center to manage indian assets because these satellites are very expensive and they are of national importance there is a civilian aspect to this which is that if a startup launches a new satellite uh, the startup on their own to do this is very expensive so some body like isro or the you know the uh, indian uh, air force should collaborate together and manage or create a center where the center manages the space traffic in and around india both from a civilian as well as a defense perspective Okay, sir. Uh, as you spoke about defense side of this, so how it will help uh, defense? Uh, see, typically we think that space is a civilian environment. However, as we all know, there are a lot of spy satellites or defense satellites also. The second thing that we have seen, we have seen hostile nations uh, conduct anti-satellite tests, which is they have launched a missile and they have destroyed a satellite in space. or there have been maneuvers where unfriendly nations have sent their satellites close to our satellites so in such situations it is very important to treat space like an other uh, war zone right another front which needs to be actively monitored and managed in case a chinese satellites comes close or they try to do anything which is against our interest we should be aware about it and then take the necessary action to manage it also spoke about how elon musk launches a satellite every in few days okay so really is it creating a problem in the you know in the space yes while uh, there is a lot of excitement amongst end users that mobile broadband is available in places where it was not available but from a traffic perspective starlink is definitely a challenge i would say uh because there are so many uh, satellites being launched by starlink on a regular basis in different type of orbits that it is very important that we monitor and manage and see and it has created a space congestion problem if i can call it isro is doing that isro yes. has a mission life cycle mission in which uh, they bring down the satellite yes. yes so isro has been one of the better agencies or more uh, let's say informed or very responsible agency and we are very proud of what isro is doing as a country so isro make sure that when their satellite uh, mission is over and the life of the satellite is over uh, they safely try to bring that satellite back to earth and make sure that it is not left in the orbit and it is deorbited and brought back